we had a good rainstorm last night and I slept good in it. I fed the chickens already. When I got up to feed them, I didn't have any feed ready. So since I have to prepare the, um, the feed, I am going to show you what it is that I do. Okay. When I first got them, this is what I fed them. Chick starter grower. The non-medicated. So they are now... I think I fed them this for a month. Yeah, four, four to six weeks, I think. And then I went on to, I'm going to show you what I went on to next, but what I have up front is this, um, well actually I can show you. The 18% start right chick feed. So I gra they graduated from the starter to the feed. And this is what I'm using. It is this brand. So what I do now that they are, let me see, May 17th, June, July, August, September, October, this is October 30th. So, uh, count that again. June, July, August, September, October. So, they're five months and about two weeks. Almost two weeks. Yeah. So, I give them uh, four, eight scoops. So, that's four cups of this. The feeder. And then, I also give them later in the day... four cups of the scratch. Uh, so, both of them are soy free and non-GMO. What does it say? Never antibiotic. Never any antibiotics or hormones. And I bought them treats, but I um I think I gave them gave it to them once and not the whole thing. I um cut them broke them into four pieces and once a week I was giving it to them. Okay, let me show you how I do it. So I have this one half scoop that pretty much just stays in the bag. And I scoop six. So that's actually three cups I give them. Six, uh, one half cups. So that's three cups of, um, Of the scratch and it's corn uh, rice I guess that's barley and an oat no it's not an oat I don't know <laughs> I'll see if it's on the label but I do nine cups nine of these um these containers so that's three cups of scratch and then I do four cups one two three Six, 
seven, eight. Okay. So what I have is uh, the twenty-seven gallon uh, totes. I have in them one feed and one scratch. And on reserve. And this is what I'm using now. So I have them coming every nine weeks. And it comes from when they were younger, they were getting brags. They actually still get brags. I found this in the Dollar Tree. Um, I think I used one. Yeah, I had bought two. Just experimenting when I went out a few months ago. And um, I am going to make my own apple cider vinegar. Do the apple peel and apple core and distilled water. I first saw it on Hudson, Growing with Hudson's web um, YouTube channel. So eventually I'll get up out of here <laughs> and we'll be able to get a few things. But I'm using what I have for now. So let me show you where the, um, the feed and the scratch come from. So, I order from Chewy because it is the least expensive to purchase here in New York City. Prices are different above and below the Mason-Dixon line. So, they're both under $30.00. I know that much. Like one is 27 and change and the other one maybe 25 and change. And it comes in this box. The box is 24 by 17 by 8. And the way I feed them is this way. So, we have the reserve and the, on the bottom in the 27-gallon container. We have what we use in the same container, same size container. And then, I had ordered this nice water. Isn't that just lovely? Never got to use it. Oh no, sorry. This is the feeder. This is the feeder. I have not used it yet. Maybe next spring. And then, of course, <laughs> I also got The matching drinker. <laughs> Didn't get around to putting that in there either. So what I do is I keep nine containers handy. Well, nine days worth. 18 containers handy. I have the feed in the top one. And in the bottom one, whoops, is the scratch. So, the way I do it, because I have to get up. And I'm not waking up uh, on time by myself anymore but I don't want to use an alarm that irks me so I didn't have to use an alarm before but anyway so when I wake up 
I grabbed one of these and I head out the door upstairs. Let me see. I fed them already this morning, but since we're up. Y'all still eating? Yeah, they still eating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah? No, I don't have anything else. So, and I just pour it from on top. And they have their breakfast. And when I come out at 10 o'clock to have my sun therapy is when I feed them foliage from around the garden. I did get an egg this morning. So, and that's their water. Now, remember all that nice bedding I put down here? They don't like that bedding. So, I will be taking that off of the auto pay. Or auto ship, auto order, whatever. I'm going to keep what I have. I'm going to show you how much I have. But, they prefer the wood chips. So, later... I'll transfer a bucket of wood chips down into here for them. But I'm gonna do an experiment for um, that bedding to see if they will um, lay just in the bedding because they just sleep up there. Uh, it's an interesting walk. All right, a latch. But that's it. <coughs> oh, let me show you this. As I shared before, I had only used one of the beddings. Now I have three. And still a little bit in that black bag from the first uh, bale of bedding. Uh... Depending on your setup, you will only need the bedding when you are um, starting them out. And considering I still don't know if I have a rooster or two roosters and three hens or three roosters and two hens. <laughs> oh boy, these are the lemon trees I had to bring in. Yeah, well, everyone, be well and be safe. Peace.